Okay, so we need to put tax lines or update tax lines to our QuickBooks file. This is so easy but so incredibly important. Uh, we will send you a sheet showing you what the tax lines should be. So just put that sheet in hand, put it in front of you, and we are going to go in here to the chart of accounts. You notice you can do control A or just go to chart of accounts. This is 2013 QuickBooks, so might look a little different. Gonna go ahead and maximize this. Alright, so company checking account. We're gonna right click on it, edit the account, and then here's our screen. These are the tax um, line mapping. So if this is blank, it's not assigned. Just double check, make sure it's assigned correctly. Um, we click the down arrow key, and you'll see these are all the possibilities you can choose from unassigned that that's what it will be if it hasn't been assigned at all and begins with income cost of goods sold and it goes into your deductions um, shareholder life insurance that's a big one that gets missed a lot and it's real important um, compensation of shareholders um, it's important to have shareholders w2 separate than everybody else so we just kind of go through here. These are where the deductions are. These are other deductions. These are Schedule K items. So if you can't find something, it, it might be down here. Um, charitable contributions, that's one that's under Schedule K. That's what you'll find most often is that one. All right, so now you're down at the balance sheet. So you got to go to the bottom. This was cash, so this was a bank account, company checking account. So it's that's just a cash account. You'll notice all the balance sheet items are here. Um, capital stock, paid in surplus, your um, net income or loss per books, all that stuff we can we can code out of here. Um, Eighty-eight twenty-five. This is rental stuff. So if you have a rental business, this is where you find all those rental items. And you'll notice there's A, B, C, D, so you can have up to four in, in QuickBooks. So we're going to leave this as cash. Um, you'll hit save and close. And you just go through all those and make sure they're in there. Now, what you can do is you go to reports, accountant, and taxes, income tax prep. You open that up and you'll notice it'll have all the tax lines for you here so you can make sure that they match what we sent you all right perfect you are done now this will take a while it's a it's a big pain takes a lot of work but it's a one-time deal you only have to do it once all right